I'm, I'm a very honest human being. Mm -hmm. Getting my husband to sit down and just watch Yellowstone or like Queen's <laughs> Gambit <laughs> after dinner and have a glass of wine, that would be an epic date night. <laughs> I know that you and your husband have been married for what, nearly 10 years. I mean, it's a lot of together time too. So how are you guys doing date nights at home and has this tested your relationship at all? It definitely, it definitely has tested our relationship. I don't, uh, I mean, kudos to couples where it hasn't, <laughs> but maybe, you know, I think both of us are somewhat workaholics. You know, I worked, I would travel back and forth working on a talk show. Right. He was a news reporter. Um, now, you know, we have our tasting room. So being, I don't want to say stuck together, but you know, together all this time, it's kind of like, not like you're relearning each other over again. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is the biggie. We're both dealing with the stresses of life, right? The pandemic in maybe different ways. And you're forced to deal with that. <laughs> so it's like, I, you know, I'm, you're, you're stressed together. So I think that's what, you know, we're learning. We're learning to have patience with each other, patience with each other regarding the kids. Mm -hmm. um, and food and wine always helps. It does I will say that. <laughs> food and wine. It definitely helps. Have you been doing that a lot together, having a lot of date nights at home then when kids go back? Um, well, see, that's the thing. If, if uh, cooking is, is considered date nights at home, yes. Yeah. We've been doing, we've been doing that, but we, we did recently have a conversation like, okay, it's, it's cause I think sometimes you get lost in the kids, like I said, mm -hmm. schooling and, and, and work that it's important to say, okay, it's time, it's time to connect things. I know with the election and all that, everything going on, let's, let's connect as a couple yeah. and our date night. So a date night can look like, and but I'm again, I'm, I'm a very, honest human being mm -hmm. getting my husband to sit down and just watch Yellowstone or like Queen's <laughs> Gambit after dinner and have a glass of wine that would be an epic date night <laughs> that that would be awesome so I just gotta get him to sit down <laughs> yeah. and then do your kids understand what's going on like or my kids definitely understand what's going on. They know the severity of it. Um, and I gotta say, they have acclimated very well. I am so proud of them. In the beginning, it was rough, you know, with virtual virtual schooling. Um, where we live, it's purple, not red. Um, so it's not as, not as intense, but they do know it's important to wash your hands. Yeah. It, it's important to wear your mask. My kids, knock on wood, have not fought me once about wearing their masks. And I think it's because I was very honest mm -hmm. about what, you know, is happening. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, COVID is, is it's, it's, it's a virus that can hurt grandma and grandpa mm -hmm. and, you know, mommy and daddy or, or you. And we have to protect ourselves from it. And by us wearing masks and washing our hands, we protect the people that we love. They got it instantly. Right. And um, yeah, I, I was very grateful for that. Now, not being able to play with their friends as much, you know, uh, go to gymnastics class or, you know, baseball, things like that. Of course that has gotten to them. But again, it's like finding toys that they can play with watching movies, us connecting as a family, board games, cooking. My son, I am not kidding, made me a turkey burger last night. He said, <laughs> mom, I want to cook for you because he sees his dad do it all the time. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he turned eight and he's like, I'm a big boy now. I want to cook. I want to <laughs> cook for you. Of course, we, you know, we, 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 you know, watched him do it and right. made sure it was done safely. But he made me, he made me dinner. And see, those are the things that I feel like maybe sometimes we may have taken for granted. Yeah. Um, if we weren't in this, uh, wherever we call it right now. <laughs>